Thanks for clicking on the On It Plumbing channel. We're in the big truck headed to a sewer drain call. Of course, it's Friday at 2 p.m. I'm supposed to be heading to the coast with my family right now, but everybody else is tied up. So Caleb and I are in the truck. We're gonna go to this repeat customer, see if we can get this taken care of. Um, I don't know exactly what we're gonna run into. I do know it's on septic and I know they're plugged up and they want service. Um, so we get on our jobber app. We have a button that says on my way. I hit 15 minutes. The call came in about, sorry, I'm trying to merge. Uh, the call came in about uh, 15 minutes ago. We'll be there in 15 minutes. So 30 minute response. That's pretty good. That's kind of key if you're, uh, screw it. We got an emergency to go to. made it <laughs> uh anyway um uh people tend to move out of the way when you're in a truck that's five times bigger than theirs um but anyways uh we're, we'll have about a 30 minute response time and that's part of the key to having a good service business get to these jobs quickly get your customers taken care of so we'll see what we find um jobber is an awesome way to track your schedule so they know that we're on the way and uh We'll see you when we get there. Pulling in the driveway. Oh yeah, good old Southern Oregon. Okay, so there's the tank. I don't think we've got a clean out, unfortunately. <laughs> old cast iron vent. What are you seeing, Caleb? I, we just got a duck around the corner. I remember seeing, uh, so we gave some options she wants to go ahead and do the baffle and clean out because it's either that or a third of the price to clean it from the toilet because there's no clean out mark some power um should be good here it's kind of an emergency so we're going to get an excavator over here friday afternoon see if we can dig this up and at least pop a hole and get it draining today come back monday and finish sudden service solve the problem than do the work a lot of times you know like how you um present it and whatnot well actually i'm gonna try to get them drain it oh no battery yep. <laughs> see what happens <laughs> There it goes. Now we can see what we're looking at. Oh my goodness. Now there's no chunks that we broke out. So this is just like, someone hit this or something. This pipe was damaged because I don't think he broke any of the pipe. Is it, we, we found a split all the way down it. And it's like open. I'm confused on to uh, what's going on down here. Is like um, a split where? Oh, just this whole pipe's like opened up. We haven't even, I don't even think he hit it really. I, I don't see any pieces. And we noticed when we dug down to it, it was like water was coming out. So it's almost like it got damaged or something. Very unusual. But anyways, Is we're- Is cast iron? So it's plastic here, but yeah, it's cast iron. Okay, so that part's plastic. So it goes right to Ooh, that's cast. Fall on you. <laughs> Saved me. So they used a kind of a weird like conduit material here. Mm -hmm. um, and then they went to cast iron right there. So what we're gonna do is we'll do a shielded attachment right to here. Okay. And then we'll just do a clean out and a new baffle and bypass all this. Okay, so. good. Well, so I wonder if that was crushed and if that's what was blocking. It kind of seems that way because we, before we even got to the pipe, we saw water and then I, I scraped down and I saw yeah, this crack way. and then we got down here and there was a big opening in it. So I don't know, I wouldn't doubt if, you know, Ben hit it a little bit, but it's yeah, something's weird with it. Right. Yeah. Um, and I so yeah, the baffle is old cast iron and it's shot. So we will be changing the baffle, the Y, and then we're just going to connect to the cast iron. 
upstream looks good it's just old hey guys we are on our way back to the shop and now i can kind of go to the coast finally um basically with that job we showed up old system no clean out so our first option was to pull the toilet snake it and reinstall the toilet which is not a cheap task because they didn't have a proper clean out my option on top of that was to change out the baffle put in a clean out at the tank and get them draining for tonight uh, which was kind of the middle option and then the best option was to do both uh, inlet and outlet baffle uh, they ended up uh, she went with the middle option to do the baffle clean out and drain cleaning so for tonight we got our speedy excavator out there he got us down we popped a hole in the line or it already had a hole in it it was pretty messed up got it draining and uh, we've got her good for the weekend and then monday morning we'll have a quick task of just putting the rest of that plumbing in making it nice and uh getting it back filled so that was that was a pretty good job that's kind of how it should go and if you're not giving people options to make their system better you're being a hack you're being a butt crack plumber calling you out so you gotta gotta try to look at things and make them better that's what i'm saying thanks to caleb for helping and uh we're gonna call it a weekend.